Hello, brothers and sisters of Christ. Um, July uh, prayer, monthly prayer request. Okay? I had a list, but I'm still going to mention a couple things on my list. But first things first, why is prayer such a big importance? I love reading these verses every month to you, brothers and sisters of Christ. Hide them in your heart and live them. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 says, Pray without ceasing. We pray every day, brothers and sisters of Christ, because it's our personal relationship for the Lord. And we pray every day because the body of Christ needs it. I need it personally. And I know the brothers and sisters of Christ need it. We pray for our lost loved ones. Um, we're to pray without ceasing. Okay. Philippians 4.6 says, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Do it with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. When we need something, we ask God for prayer. Okay. James 5, 1, 5, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and it prayeth not, and it shall be given him. We ask God for wisdom. We ask God to open the scriptures to us. Mm -hmm. Giving us a spirit of discernment with what we're seeing happening around us. Mm -hmm. John 17, 15 says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. That's when we pray for the brethren. Okay, keep them from evil. Help the brethren in these times, Lord, in these last days, before the catching away of the body of Christ. Romans 1, 9 says, For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. It's Paul talking to the, the saints, the, Christ, the brothers and sisters in Christ of his day. He's always praying for them. I always make mention of you in my prayers. And same thing for you, brothers and Christ. I'm always praying for you every day. And Romans 10, 1 says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer for God for Israel is that they might be saved. I'm always praying for the peace of Jerusalem. But more in these last days, I'm praying more that we can, if there's any Jews that will get saved, that they'll get saved before they catch away the body of Christ. But I am always praying for the peace of Jerusalem. Now, the reason that this, mainly this, uh, video I wanted to go in one direction and that's this brothers is Christ despite everything that's going on here I've got I could have a lot of things to talk about for prayer requests but my biggest thing is is all that's being put on hold because my biggest prayer request that I have for the brethren for this month and probably till the catch away of the body of Christ brothers is Christ is to be praying hardcore for one another in these last days I remember what Paul said I can't remember if it was Romans or Corinthians but he talked about how God knows them that are his and he talks about the house of God is made up of, and we know that the house of God is made up of the church of the living God. But it talks about the house of God is made up of people, the church of the living God, that are silver and gold and wood and earth. Some to honor, some to dishonor. And I, we really need to be praying for the body of Christ in these last days. The falling away is happening. People are getting distracted by what's going on in the world. People are starting to become worldly because they're too busy looking at what's going on in the world. They take their eyes off Jesus Christ and they look at what's going on in the world. Okay? Some to honor, some to dishonor. Okay? And I'm talking about this guy right here too. I'm doing my best to stay focused on the Lord because even I've been getting a little distracted by what's going on in the world. Okay? Um, we're going to get into this one of these studies that hopefully I'll get out by tomorrow. Are you ready? Um, and you're, when the Bible says to watch, when we watch to see what's going on in the world, we watch what's going on in the world because what's going on in the world is supposed to motivate us to keep our eyes on Jesus Christ and looking for that blessed hope so we can strengthen the things that remain. But a lot of brethren are starting to look at what's going on in the world and they're getting distracted. They're looking on what's going on in the world. Remember that whole thing about a plane, brother says Christ, that even with my truck, well, I, the best way is my truck. Uh, the old highway here, the oceans there, sometimes the ocean's so beautiful, I'll look over at the ocean and I'll catch myself looking at the ocean for too long. And how do I know this? I'm driving down the road, I go over and start looking at the ocean for too long, the truck starts going left, the direction I'm looking. It starts going the direction I'm looking, and I have to, you know, it just starts going a little bit, and then I look back, and I look back, and I pull the truck back and say, okay, I'm looking for too long, okay? And that's what happens when you keep your eyes on the world. We're supposed to watch. The Bible says watch, okay? Be sober, be vigilant for your adversary the devil, going around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. We're supposed to watch. But watching the, what's going on in the world and seeing how bad it's going out there is supposed to motivate us to turn and keep our eyes on Jesus Christ and strengthen the things that remain 
And, but if we keep watching the world and we never look at Jesus Christ, what's going to happen? There's brethren that are becoming worldly. They're going the way of the world. They're becoming worldly. They're starting to get comfortable down here. They're starting to love it down here. And brothers and sisters in Christ, we desperately need to be praying for the body of Christ as a whole. Okay? We need to be praying that we're getting out there and we're witnessing for Jesus Christ to get that last soul saved so we can go home. Okay, I don't want to get into it too much here because there's another study that we'll be talking about a lot. But I see what's going on in the world. And what's going on in the world is everything's coming together for the time of Jacob's trouble. We need to get that last soul saved. So we need to pray for the brethren that they're out there doing the work of the Lord. They're being a living testimony for the gospel and a verbal testimony for the gospel. But that's, that starts with me first. okay? And then I'm pointing at you. So I point at me first. And there's times I'm failing the Lord in that area. And now I'm pointing back at you saying, Brethren, God's got me back up, got me back on my feet. Brother says Christ, we all need to be praying for one another. So that's my biggest prayer request this month is that we take a lot of time to set, you can set out here, go for a walk. Even if you're in the city, there's par parks places. You got, find a place to sit somewhere that you can be out here and spend, a, spend an hour talking with the Lord. Talking with the Lord about your walk with the Lord. Talk to the Lord and pray hard about the brethren's walk with the Lord. And what's going on in this world, that no matter what goes on in this world, that it doesn't distract us from doing the work of the Lord and living for Him every day. Okay? That's the biggest prayer request that I have and, and for this month. Oh. The brethren are... Oh, gosh, they're... The backbiting whispering, the drama, fighting over things. And it's like the Bible says, Paul says, that we're supposed to be of the same mind and the same judgment. We're supposed to be striving together, okay? We're supposed to be working together for the gospel. We're supposed to be working together to stand for God's word in the life that we live. And it seems like we're just so fractured in this group over here. Well, I'm not saying this group over here is lost, but I'm not hanging out with that group, but I'm hanging out with this group, and I'm with that group, and I'm with him, and I'm of Paul, and I'm of Apollos. You know, was Paul baptized for you? Was Apollos, did Apollos die on the cross for you? You know, yeah. You start becoming a respecter of persons, and I'm of this group, and I'm of that group, and we all need to be coming together. We really do, Brother Jesus Christ, and I, we desperately, all we can do right now is pray hardcore as a bug. <laughs> we hardly get any bugs, but lately, this year, we had a lot of rain, got some mosquitoes. Um, but we need to pray hardcore, Brother and Sisters of Christ. Okay? So that's my main prayer. It really is. And I do have a secondary prayer that's a prayer request. I mailed some stuff to brethren overseas. And that request, I still throw that out there. I just, uh, I'm kind of jumbling around, so I might not be making much sense. So let's do this in order. By God's will, this next Monday, update on the prayer request for the wood stove. I will have a wood stove in my house. They'll come to start putting it in Monday. It doesn't mean they'll have it done Monday, but they're going to come and start putting it in Monday. It might be a one-day thing. They're done. It might be a couple-day thing. But I pray nothing gets in the way. Anything can get in the way. But I pray nothing gets in the way. And we get that wood stove in. And Brother says, Christ, <laughs> it's like this month I am broke. However, my offer is always out there because what's more important than me? The Lord and His work. Bibles. If you need Bibles, brothers and sisters in Christ, and you can't afford the nice Bibles, let me know. Email this ministry. I've been sending Bibles to brethren, okay? I've been helping brethren overseas, and right now with everything I see going on, I still watch. I see what's going on out there. Brother says, Christ, I spend probably like yeah, 30 minutes every morning looking at news and, and, and news sites that um, I can trust that will give you the basics. They, it's, it's hard to find any site that doesn't kind of lean a little bit this way or lean a little bit that way, but finding sites that just give you like basic facts and everything. I see what's going on out there. I see what's going on in Europe and everything. And, I really need a pr secondary prayer request is that the Bibles that I'm sending to people overseas, that they make it to those people. And uh, it's a very big prayer request. I'm always scared that it's, it's, I trust the Lord, and I really do, but I don't trust man, okay? Um, I don't, you know, I don't trust man, but I trust the Lord. And I pray everything was done right and that the package gets to him. So I need that prayer request, okay? And I mean it, brother, says Christ. No matter what my condition is, God has always blessed me with being able to help brethren get Bibles. Okay? You need a Bible, let me know. I will do whatever I can to get you a Bible. Okay? 
Okay. So that's the update on the wood stove. Please pray that the Bible reaches them. And like I said, the whole list that I normally talk to, talk about and everything, my health is not important right now. Um, the things around this house that I need to get fixed aren't important right now. What's very important right now, Brother Says Christ, and I see it out there, is that the brethren, I see them just getting distracted by what's going on out there in the world. No matter how bad it gets out there, it's supposed to motivate us to look for that blessed hope, the imminent return of Jesus Christ. It can happen any day now. Are you ready? And we'll get into a Bible, a couple series Bible studies that I'm going to be doing that might be multiple part for each section of the study um, about are you ready? Are you looking? Okay, present tense, are you looking? Some brethren have taken their eyes off Jesus Christ and they're putting it on the world. And they turn their back on the imminent return of Jesus Christ and they're, they're saying Jesus isn't coming back for another five or six years and they're not looking at Jesus Christ. They're not looking for that blessed hope. And they're getting messed up on the world. Brother says Christ, we desperately need to be praying for one another. And I've already said that. I don't know how many times I can say that. But the Lord really put this on my heart. Just a short video. Not as long as normal with the prayer request. But just please, please pray for me. Pray for men in ministry that we stay the course. Okay? Pray for the brethren that no matter what the cost. I'm pointing at the scriptures here. Uh, my Bible's over there. Actually, my Bible's, all, Bible's plural all over the house, but the point here, make sure that no matter what the cost, we don't compromise and we don't sacrifice and turn our back on God, our walk with the Lord and His Word, okay? I know some of you brothers is Christ and standing for the Word of God and standing for His testimony, and you have that testimony too of Jesus Christ, it's cost you a lot. It's cost you a lot. Don't faint. Don't falter. The Bible uses those words. Don't faint. Don't falter. Stand, stand, stand. Do all you can to stand. Okay? Be a light to this world. Don't compromise. Okay? And I know a lot of you have sacrificed a lot for not compromising. Pray for the brethren, brothers says Christ. Pray, pray, pray. So I'm going to end this with grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus. And may the Lord bless you in these hard times, watch over you in these hard times, brothers and sisters of Christ. And remember, to be content, help us to be content with food and raiment. And we have the Word of God. Remember, we're not supposed to live by bread alone. So grace and peace from God our Father. That's what I want for you. That's what I want for the body of Christ as a whole. Grace and peace. I want us to come together. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. I will see you in our next study, which hopefully I'll get out probably by tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next study.